Hey friends, I'm Ashley and welcome to Ash's Cozy Corner. I have actually been playing Faith Farm nonstop since it released, which is probably why it took so long to make this video. If you're brand new to Faith Farm, I highly recommend checking out my beginner's guide first, which I will link in the description below and right here. But if you've already watched that video, this is definitely the next step. I have over 15 tips and tricks that helped me a ton while playing, so I really hope they help you all as well. Let's get started. Tip one is a very simple tip but oh so very helpful in planning out your days in Azoria. In most farming sims you have a TV to check the weather but in Azoria these people are out living their lives so no TV for us. The way you check your weather in Fay Farm is by opening your menu, going into the calendar, and going to the week that you are in. It won't show weather outside of the week you're currently on so make sure you're on the right date and you will be able to see an entire week of weather. Tip two is that while crafting you can test out items to see what they look like and if you don't like them or change your mind you can reclaim the materials by clicking reclaim in the crafting menu while hovering over the item. This will give you all of the materials you used back to you. This is super handy for making your farm look aesthetic without wasting a bunch of stuff if you're unsure. Tip three on top of having unlimited storage in your main storage shed it gets better. There are four storage sheds in the game that you will unlock in different areas and they all connect to each other so no matter where you are, if you get into a storage shed, every single one will have access to all of your items. Tip four is for my friends out there who hate fishing in games. In Fay Farm, you can make fishing easier. All you have to do is open up your game settings, toggle on simple fishing, and voila, an amazing solution thanks to Phoenix Labs. Tip five is something I didn't know existed until later, but deep sea fish are a thing in Fay Farm. To find them, go south from Saltwater Mines past the broken bridge to find a little island. If you fish off the cliff here, you will catch special deep sea fish that you can only catch here. There are seven total fish that you'll find in different seasons near this area, so be sure to check back every single season. Tip six is that the spells you get from the story can sometimes be used for more than just combat. For example, the vortex spell you get after chapter four can be used to harvest crops and flowers that have finished growing, and you can also collect forageables quickly this way as well. Keep in mind, it does use mana, but it's so much easier than just picking up all the forageables in the area. Tip number seven is just to please use the potions. I know sometimes I can get carried away and just want to dive into a dungeon or quest, but potions can be so helpful when doing daily tasks in Fay Farm. If you've been catching every bug when you pass them, like I recommended in the beginner's guide, you should have no issue with having items to make potions. Trust me, with zoom potions, you'll get things done so much quicker, and with invisibility potions, you'll be able to mine freely with no distractions from enemies. There are plenty of potions to help protect you from the enemies, like the bubble potion or flame petal potion, and the sadness potion is a cloud that follows you with rain so you can water your crops super quick. Oh, and there's also a way to abuse the jar of bees potion, and I'll talk about that in my farming guide. Tip eight, to plant fruit trees, you will have to be in crafting mode. For some reason, I feel like I missed this being mentioned and I had no idea how to plant the saplings I bought, so I'm saving you the Google. Tree saplings will be in the crafting menu after you buy them. Tip nine, there is no season change in the Fey Realm. I was actually freaking out because I know in Azoria, bugs, fish, forageables, all of that stuff changes with the season and it was hard enough to gather everything before the season ended. Thankfully, you do not have to rush in the Fey Realm because nothing changes from season to season. Tip 10 is to save your crops. Don't destroy them before the season is over. You can get tons of fodder after the crops die by using your sickle on them. If you don't want to wait until the end of the season to harvest a ton of fodder, you can also just craft some fodder patches in the crafting menu. Tip 11 is to not ignore job quests. In Fay Farm, you have four different types of quests. Main story quests, side quests, job quests, and friend quests. My absolute favorite are the job quests, not only because they can be quite challenging and fun, but you can also get an amazing outfit when you fully complete the job quests. To find them, job quests will correlate with the NPC that does that job. So for example, Mel the Beekeeper will have the bug catching job quests. Tip 12, you can unlock new furniture and items in multiple ways, not just by finding the scrolls laying around. You'll unlock things by doing all the different quests, going to shopkeeper stores, and even by finding a new forageable. Definitely keep picking up those 
scrolls though, and yes, they are everywhere. Check behind things that you would not expect. Tip 13 is about fertilizer. The best use for fertilizer that I have found is to use Bounteous on crops that continually grow and Zippy on single harvest crops. Instead of buying fertilizer, head over to your garden bitch and make it instead and it will save you tons of money as each time you craft fertilizer, it will give you 10. Tip 14 continues from my beginner's guide. Like I mentioned before, not going to bed on time will not have any cons whatsoever. You can stay out until midnight and the game will automatically transport you home and put you to sleep with no penalties to your energy and you will not lose anything. However, if you do make it back to your farm on time and do decide to sleep, when you wake up you will see an eye below your mana bar. This is a well rested buff and gives you an increase to health, energy, and mana regeneration for a specific period of time. Tip 15. Even if you aren't an interior designer and hate decorating in games, at least make the cozy furniture for your house and throw it in there. Each piece will give you a different buff of either increasing your max health, your max energy, or your max mana. You can see which of these work by going to your menu. Not only that, you will also have a regeneration rate while in your house, and thankfully, you can regenerate all of your stats by going into your house and pausing the game. Of course, this is only if you want to actually take the time to do this. This isn't really a tip, but I have seen people saying that there aren't enough crop varieties in Fae Farm, so I wanted to mention this just just in case you didn't know. For every single crop, for example, a turnip, there are four seasonal crops and a fey crop associated with the turnip. So technically, a turnip can turn into five different crops on top of the base crop. You can then take the crop that grows and turn it into three seeds per crop, making sure you never run out of the special crops. I'm making an entire guide on farming and propagating, so check that out if you're interested in more ways to farm. The very last tip I'm going to say is to please read the tips on the loading screens. Seriously, they help a ton and I found multiple things out just by reading them. That's it for the tips and tricks guide to Fay Farm. I really hope it helped you all in some way or you found something out that you didn't know about. As always, if you have a tip or trick that you think would help somebody else out, definitely drop it in the comment section below and check out my other guides as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a cozy day and God bless.